So now I need to go ahead and make my next map. I'm going to go ahead and, oops, actually no, go up here, new map. And um, I'm going to just make this look a little bit bigger, actually. That should be good. Let's go ahead and transfer our player so when they walk through there they can. Play a touch. Uh, gotta stop forgetting what I'm doing in the middle of doing it. I'll come out right there. Okay, if you want you can make it so that they can walk back to the last level. I guess I'll do it. I guess. Gotta make sure that that works. Okay, so, and so it's time for, yes, you're right, another cutscene. Um, short, of course, for you lovely people. So, when the player lands on this, so we're going to set to player touch, we're going to turn on a switch, so control switch, we're going to call this control switch, um, we'll call this control switch, let me think which that one's the best one I use. Um, It's a, it's a fire guardian in my game. So you're going to want to name it, if you're going to name it, whatever character is going to be joining your party next. In the game that I originally built, it's the fire guardian. So that's why I'm naming it that. You can name it whatever you like. Um, well done. Okay. And then we're also going to say, when I get on there, hey, stop right there. And if you want, we can go ahead and change the music. I am a proponent that music makes the scene. Something a little dramatic, because they're going to be fighting. And so we have our control switch on, which is going to activate another thing, event that we have that's going to come and walk up towards us, and we have music playing. So that's good for now. Control C, <laughs> Control V. There you go. Um, <clears throat> so that when you walk and touch either one of these, it's going to turn on another event. And our new event will be down here. I want to make sure that I make this far enough away so you don't see it, but I guess it's not killer if you can. And we'll call this Earth Guardian, and we're going to pick our Earth Guardian, which, you know what, actually, whoever we have in the database, we'll, uh, this is going to be our Earth Guardian. So I'm going to rename this one, Earth Guard. And that way, we'll make sure that it's the same. Um, let me look at the what's the name of that graphic? Lancer 2. Make my life a little easier here. All right, Lancer. Lancer 2, there you are. I want you to be here. Actually, 
want your back to us at first. Okay, and we need to go ahead and turn this when this switch is on. Our guardian on, he starts walking. Um, we'll do auto run and we gotta figure out how many steps we need. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'll go with eighteen. Okay. So set move root. Um, this event. And we want to move up 13 spaces. One, or was it 13? No, I don't remember. I think it was 18. We're going to go with that, and if it's wrong, I'll fix it. And then we have to say, wait for this to finish. And we'll have him speak. No end of the guardian of these mountains. Wish, whoa. You must defeat me. And we're going to go down to the next line so that it doesn't get cut off. Okay, we're going to say okay for a second because we have to go to database again. And we got to make him an enemy for the time being. So go ahead and change maximum. Go to 34. We're going to change this to uh, Earth. You know what, just stick it with Earth. Alright, and then we gotta go to our Lancer. There he is. You can change all this you want for the fight. Um I haven't decided if I want to go over that yet, so I'm not gonna today. Um troops. So now we gotta go into our troops and add it to a troop that can fight us. Oh, we gotta change maximum, don't we? So, 35. This is gonna be called Earth Guardian again. And we're gonna go ahead and put our Earth Guardian in there. And we're gonna say... We can hold him. Okay. So this is where it gets a little interesting. This will be new. So, we're going to, uh... In this box here, we're going to make an event so that when he gets low on HP or hit points, that the battle ends and um, that uh, he joins your party. So we'll, um, we'll insert here. Wait. i got to remember how to do this. Condition. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. So when the enemy is at 50% or below HP, and you can change this however much you want. You can say 90% if you want, which I guess I'll do that. 90% or below. Or wait, hold on a minute here. 10% or below. That makes more sense. Um that these things happen. Okay, so I ran into a problem when I play tested it. And I guess what the problem was is that I had it at the condition was 10% um, or below. I think the reason that it wasn't working was because that was too low of a number and it was he was dying, I guess, before it could be activated. I'm not sure, but I tried running it twice and it wouldn't work. Might be some sort of weird little glitch. I'm not sure. If you know the answer, you can always comment below because I would love to know why. So I changed it to 25% or below, and that worked. So during this battle, if it goes down to 
um, say someday I'll get used to this keyboard. It's all weird compared to my old ones. And if you can't tell, I peck at my keyboard instead of using Home Row. All you smart people using Home Row, I'm jealous of you. Um, okay. So I think this should work. I hope I'm remembering this right. And he's going to be up here. Oh, that was the other thing we had to do. I'm sorry. See, I'm forgetting everything. When that, he's going to say, stop. We need to put on a switch so that he does something different. So, um, turn on a control self switch. Or a control switch, rather. I'm sorry. And this will be fire guardian join. Okay, so that's on. And then you need a new event page. And I gotta also add in something else on the first, but let's just get this done before I forget. Switch fire guardian join is on. We gotta make it the same thing. So I'm gonna take two. I should have just copy and paste it. Um and he will say actually, while I'm looking at me. Um strong. I can see you are worthy moment. Is that spelled right? Hopefully. Insert You must be the chosen one. And we join you on your quest. Alright. So we're asking a question, so we're gonna do endpoint or um show choices. So yes and no, that's what we want. Under yes, we'll write, I will not let you down. And this is where we change our party member and we add Mr. Earth Guardian here. And then we're gonna turn on I'll switch A so that he disappears. And then when no, we will turn on self-control switch B and I guess I'll copy this one. Oh, oops. What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, I don't want this on anymore. Oh, I got everything on here. Oh, this is an action button. That's not good. We got to do... Um, uh, na, 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 na. I guess parallel process. Sure. Um, This is good. This is good. Alright. So this... There was something else we needed to do. What was it? What was it? What was it? Aha! We need to insert our fight, so um, battle processing, and we're going to be doing the Earth Guardian. I'm going to go ahead and play test it so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> 